trauma. Breathing seems normal. Heart rate should be fast. <sighs> you're awake. Let me see. Let me see. <sighs> Thank goodness you're awake. Or I'll have to try my last ditch move. Emergency skills for junior patrollers. Lesson one, CPR. Ugh. Never did it on any living person, though. <laughs> Chisia. Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <sighs> Are you alright? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Chisha. And she's Yang Yang. Gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar or someone returning home? So you don't know why you're here. Where are you from? Or who you are? Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. Ugh, I knew it! Our gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%, no, 100% sure about you. You must be a Resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a Resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have Resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby, like what Yang Yang just did. She can tell all kinds of information by reading the streams in the wind. That's her resonance. It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my! Speak of the devil! Despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my...
What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? This is the statue of Jue, the sentinel in Zhenzhou, in the shape of a long. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chisya might be in danger. Rover, please. The hour is upon us. resonance beacon over there when you see a beacon be sure to register and activate it it's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon it can protect you from danger some when you see a beacon when you see a beacon when you see a beacon be sure to register and activate it it's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon it can protect you're almost at the gorgeous entrance there will be a descent but if you're once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. 
It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? This is the center of the Atheric Sea. A tacit field? When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the Etheric Sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Debate then. Some tacit discords can parrot human speech and behavior, namely the whisperings. I doubt whether they can imitate a real person to this extent, though. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. it seems. Yeah, he was super energetic, handled a super big TD, way more spirited than me. <laughs> I've been keeping an eye on his condition through the street. your condition. She must think we shouldn't be letting you move around that much, since you've just regained consciousness. Are you alright? Where does it 
hurt. Worry has clouded your judgment, Yang Yang. His vitals are stable with normal-sized pupils and a steady breathing rhythm. This isn't the place for talking. Let's go. Careful. such a formidable tacit discord before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <sighs> Oh, this is an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. 
Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. It won't take long before the reverberations disappear and the etheric sea vanishes. Once that happens, the resonance beacon signals will come back. The tacit field will dissipate, biding time for its next resurgence. <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the city hall and the academy. Let's make our exit. ability quite like this. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? Could it be related to your lost memories? Can you recall anything now? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiji, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With a human body. I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first echo ever. 
Then they use the power of that echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Please, Yang Yang, stop reciting that, I'm begging you. Oh my, it's taking me back to my school days, when I had to recite pages and pages of them. Anyway, that's just a made-up legend, isn't it? Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great-great-great-great-great-granddaddy of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. Wait! The signal's back! This is a holographic message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huang Long. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? This person our Magistrate was talking about... ...is Rover. The Moon Chasing Festival and the Spring Long Festival are their liveliest times in Huanglong. They're two of our most famous traditional festivals. Every region in Huanglong will be celebrating the festivals in their unique ways. Jinzhou is a city built on the borders, but it's no exception in that regard. Hey, 
Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the Magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor a Magistrate mentioned or not, he was surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Panwa's restaurant. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be- I'm gonna get you one you can absorb. I never go back on my promise. Your hero Chisha's on the hunt! Can you reenact what you did before? Hmm, maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. seen a gourd quite like yours before, but it sure is working just fine. I've never seen- Hmm, your terminal's got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same. The discovery.
no hesitation. City's just up ahead. Rover? There you are, my dearest seed of fate. All righty, what should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the gorges of spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them in time. Then I'll go submit our report, and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first, and we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinjo and all, he can't be left standing outside the city hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then, I'll leave you in Shizya's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? I'll give you a call once the paperwork is done. Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats to try out. You think it, we have it.
Stopping.
Here we are, Jinjo's Nexus Tower. Exactly. Let me see, uh, think of it as Jinjo's largest service station or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here 